This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Live from Goodno Gymnasium, Frontier Regional in South Deerfield, a key early season Hampshire League matchup. It's the Frontier Red Hawks and the Greenfield Green Wave. Hello again, everyone. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins here in South Deerfield. Dave Reno, our studio producer, as we get set for the big showdown, early season showdown, the biggest game of the season so far, anyway, in the Hampshire League. Teams, Chris, with a combined record of 10-1, and one, Greenfield and Frontier. Yeah, this one's been circled on the calendar for a while, and with good reason. These are two very good basketball teams. And they had one common opponent, Palmer, which pretty much handled Frontier. And if anybody watched the film of that Palmer game, you figured out how to defend Peter Carey. I wonder if Greenfield will employ that same game plan. Basically, you've got to make Peter Carey feel uncomfortable, and I expect that's exactly what Greenfield will try and do. Greenfield coming in with a perfect 5-0 record on the season. And Frontier, as you mentioned, just with that one loss at 5-1. A lot of talk about this game, and I know one of my pet peeves is when the media sort of, you know, overhypes a certain game. I fell right into that trap this week. Once we were done uh, broadcasting earlier this week, Bobby and I, I, I started thinking about this game, and I, I fell right into the trap. I've been hyping it on Beer Country all week long. I don't think you're wrong. I think this is a, this is a battle of, I think, arguably the two best teams in the Hampshire League right now this year. And uh, anything can happen. You know, Greenfield's got a lot of tools. They got a lot of height. And I think Frontier's probably got the deepest and most balanced team they've had in a long time. It's going to come down, I think, to effort and defense in this one. Colin Boudreau is out there. He's looked good in the warm-ups as he makes his return to the Red Hawk lineup. For Greenfield, no Ryan Cody, who is, uh, you know, started as a freshman at point guard last year. But he has an injury. They hope to get him back later on in the season. We take a timeout here on our pregame show. We'll come back, get you set with the starting lineups, introduction of them, the national anthem, and the opening tip-off as a large crowd still filing in here to Goodno Gymnasium. Greenfield and Frontier next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks. Customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Other action in high school basketball on this Friday night. We'll begin with the girls because it could be an historic night at Nichols Gym in Greenfield tonight as Greenfield junior Katie Hazelton is 11 points away from 1,000 points on her career. Again, yeah, she's a junior. She will likely do it tonight at home against Amherst. In fact, she may already be there because that game started at 7 o'clock at Nichols Gym. Also, Pioneer is on the road tonight against McCann Tech in a girls matchup. Boys games, Franklin Tech, independent matchup at home against Pathfinder. 
Pioneer is at home against Hopkins Academy. Mahar hosting Belchertown. Athol is at Mohawk. Those are all 7 o'clock starts. This is the lone 7.30 start. Number three, guard David Carey. Number 10, guard Henry Swart. Number five, center Mason Meadows. Number 12, forward Mav Ward. Number 11, forward Jake Sack. Free for this coach by Angelo Thomas. And now for your Frontier Red Hawks. Number one, guard Ethan Michon. Number 11, guard Brett Robinson. Number 21, center Owen Walkowitz. Number four, forward Donovan Hoffman. And number 13, forward Peter Carey. Frontier is coached by Ben Barczewski. Please rise for the plan of the national anthem. season dominance in the Hampshire League on the line tonight and it's again it's only January 10th no postseason birth will be Clemson I certainly no league title but again getting a leg up on a rival in the what should be a very tight league race that is what is at stake here tonight take a South look Deerfield. behind the frontier bench and tell me it's not a playoff atmosphere <laughs> it's white out night again this is the second one of these this year and I expect the crowd is going to be into this game in a big way 32 minutes at least to settle this one. We have a veteran officiating crew. We got Glenn Mallett and our lead official tonight, Jerry Burgess. Greenfield coming on the visiting green uniforms with the white trim, Frontier in the home whites with navy and crimson red. Peter Carey will be jumping center against Mason Meadows of Greenfield. And we are just about set for basketball battle here tonight in South Deerfield. And it will be a battle in every sense of the word. The ball's in the air, the tip is controlled by Greenfield with Sack, feeds it to Mav Ward underneath the basketball, and the freshman Ward banks it in, two seconds in, two nothing wave. And Greenfield with some backcourt pressure, but running up quickly is Ethan Machine. Donovan Hoffman beyond the arc, picks up the dribble. High pass, air milled over the head of Mashawn. Mashawn needed to be about 6'10 to get that one, but he's not Peter Carey. Yeah, that's not a good way to start for Frontier. David Carey will throw in. Gets it in to Zwart. Up ahead now to Mavor. They break the press. Sack took in uh, with an elbow right off of uh, Donovan Hoffman. He's okay. No foul called. Into the right corner. Three-point bomb put up by Ward. No good. Rebound comes down the greenfield. Carey. Left side, comes all the way through. And the shot is up and in. I didn't see who made that shot. Yeah, we got screened by uh, some fans coming in. And a high pass is through the hands of Carey to Mason Meadows. Deep on the left side, Henry Smart. Back on the right side, it goes to David Carey. 
Mayfield leading 4 0. Look to take a, an early lead. Nice dish down low to carry who hit off a nice feed from Ward. Yeah, it's working well for Greenfield right now. Not so much for Frontier. 6 0 in favor of the Wave. Donovan Hoffman running it up, and they're going to get him with a travel. Nice defensive pressure there by Ward. Again, he was a star on that great middle school team at GHS. Played for his father, who uh, helped coach out there. Well, if they score here, I think Ben Marchesi's got to get a timeout. All Greenfield early on, 6 0, two and a half minutes into this basketball game. And that's a foul by Ethan Machan as he was trying to stay with Henry Zwart. Well, as Zwart is as advertised, we read a lot about him. And you mentioned Mav Ward. I mean, freshman looks like a senior out there in terms of size. Sack will inbound just off to our right. Gets in into Zwart. Quick pass left side to Carey. Carey holding it over his head. Back to Zwart on the right side. Henry holds there. High post. It goes to Meadows. Working his way through. Loses the handle, though. Comes down to Donovan Hoffman. We'll see if Frontier can finally get on the board here. Hoffman. Top of the key. Walkowitz. Peter Carey right of the lane. Gets it back. Hoffman on the wing. To the line. To the lane. Back on the right side. Peter Carey from 15 feet. That shot's off the back rim. No good. Donovan Hoffman the put back up. No good. Partially blocked. Hoffman again. Yes and one. Good battle by Donovan Hoffman to stay with that. A couple of rebounds there. Count it one. That's uh, definitely something Frontier needed right there to break that Greenfield streak. And not surprised it was Hoffman was the guy that ended up getting it done. He is in some ways in some ways the heart and soul of that Frontier team. Free throw is up and good. Makes a three point play that cuts the lead in half now. 6-3 in favor of Greenfield. In the backcourt. Double team there. Is David Carey. Gets it to Zward. On the right side it goes to Mav Ward. They break the press fairly easily. Coming all the way through. Henry Zward on the drive. Fake the pass and laid it in. Great play by Zward. 8-3 now in favor of the Wave. In the left corner, Donovan Hoffman. And a lay-in by Hoffman along the left baseline. That is good. He's got all five of their points. And now a steal by Hoffman, but got tied up in the backcourt and a foul called against Greenfield. And now the Frontier crowd with finally something to cheer of, cheer for. They're kind of getting into this game finally. Hoffman will inbound just off to our right. That was the first foul against Greenfield. Uh, let's check that. The second person, uh, second team foul against oh, Greenfield. Yeah. And there's an offensive foul on Bashan. That's his second as he used his arm to clear out. Yeah, that was an obvious push off. And uh, so Ethan's been hassled pretty well by David Carey in this game. 5.15 to play here in the first quarter. Greenfield leading 8-5. They got out to a 6-0 lead. Frontiers outscored them 5-2 since then. Mason Meadows, top of the key. Peter Curry working on him. Meadows gets him up there. Nice dish back to Meadows. The lane is no good. That was a great give and go, though. They executed that well. The ball just did not fall. Peter Curry deep on the right side. Top of the key. Mashon with a rainbow three. Got it. We're tied at eight. So a nice 8-2 run for the Red Hawks, and they have tied up this basketball game. Zwart up ahead. Here's David Carey. Right side pass to Meadows. Meadows going baseline. His floater. That's too strong. Got his own rebound, though. And tried to get it down low to Ward. Not a good pass, though, out of bounds. And they're going to get a sub into the lineup now for the Frontier Red Hawks. you got to get Michonne out of there with the two fouls. Sineski out there. He'll run the point along with Robinson. It wasn't a bad idea by Meadows, just didn't quite execute it well. And they're going to get Colin Boudreaux in there as well, and also into the lineup for the Red Hawks is Sean Richter, who's had a fine season so far. All right, Frontier now with a chance to take their first lead of the night, so they have weathered the storm after Greenfield came out really, really strong. Peter Carey on the left side working on Meadows, takes him to the paint. Little spin move through a double team. He took one extra step. I know, that's shades of what happened against Palmer, Jeff. I think he had more travels in that game than points because they really hemmed him in. And if Greenfield's smart, they're going to put two bodies on him in the paint at all times. All right, we are halfway through this opening quarter. We are tied at eight. And now a steal by Hineski, but recaptured 
in the Greenfield backcourt. Here's David Carey, and Angelo Thomas calls a timeout. We'll take a break here as well. Four minutes, four seconds left to play in the opening quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, we're tied at eight. This is Bear Country 95.3. We have four basketball games for you next week on Bear Country 95.3. It starts Monday night, Greenfield at Pioneer Girls. If for some reason Katie Hazelton doesn't get her 11 or more tonight at home against Amherst, she will most certainly do that on Monday night on the road against Pioneer. But my guess is she'll take care of business tonight at home. And if we get word about that, obviously we'll share that with you. Her former teammate, Reagan Hickey got her thousandth point as a junior as well. And Katie's going to do the same thing right around the same time of the year as well. High post pass goes to Mason Weddows and a uh, foul is going to be called on Boudreaux over the back. Yeah, Boudreaux into the game for the first action he's seen all season. And Greenfield will inbound underneath the basket. They get a new shot clock now. Sack will throw in. Greenfield will run out of a stack. Sack smacks the ball. Looking to throw in, alley -oop. it goes to Carey, a little bit short on that one, rebound to Carey. Outlet on the left to Hoffman, and now bringing it up is Haneski. Haneski on the right wing, top of the key. Left side pass to Richter, bounce pass, Haneski's gonna go right baseline into a double team, and they got him with steps. Yeah, again, I'm very impressed with the defense of David Carey. He, he caused all kinds of problems for Misham when he was in the game, and now he's doing the same for Haneski. He's definitely drawn the point guard as the guy he's guarding. He's doing a really good job. Kenny Adams has checked in now for the Green Wave. They're tied at eight. Nice pass down low to Kenny Adams. Gets it back on the right side to Ward. Ward picks up the dribble, gets it back Mason Meadows. Meadows takes the shot. Now he'll take it from 19. Back rim no good. Offensive rebound Adams. Passes it off the hands of Ward, but right there swooping in the cleanup and putting it up and in is Meadows. It's like a big bird flying in. And Greenfield's lead is two. It is now 10 to eight. Richter passes on the left side to Haneski. And it goes Donovan Hoffman out beyond the arc. Shot clock at 12. Hoffman throws on the right side to Carey. And a high pass. It's going to end up in the backcourt. It's either going to go out of bounds or it'll be a backcourt violation. And it's going to go back to the green wave. Greenfield's defense provoking that bad pass. I can't figure out why they keep putting Peter Carey out on the right elbow like that. He should be inside getting ready for low post baskets. Inbound the ball right now. Henry Zwart has that on the right side. Kenny Adams, foul line right. This is it down low to Meadows. Meadows had it, lost it. Wrap around pass back to Adams. Kenny goes up, reverse lay, and maybe got away with an extra step. Missed the shot, put up his own rebound, no good. And it comes down to Colin Boudreaux. Here come the Hawks with a chance to tie or take the lead. Hoffman to the line, to the lane. His runner, high off the glass, no good. Tipped around, got his own rebound. Nice effort play there and gets it back to Richter. Sean Richter, nice pass left side. Haneski, back to Richter, top of the key. He'll pull up for three. Good! Downtown, Sean Richter. 11-10, Frontier's first lead of the night. Again, they put on the full court press. Greenfield's able to break it with relative ease. Ward top of the key, he's gonna launch a three. That is short. Comes down to Mav Ward. Ward, it's hot early on, it's been a little quiet lately. The high post medals from 19. That is in and out, no good. And trying to swoop through to get the rebound, Maverick Ward couldn't do it. It goes out of bounds, back to Frontier. The shooting's a bit flat right now for Greenfield, but they're definitely moving the ball well. Sam Gibson is checked in for the Green Wave. We have 11-10 to play, uh, rather 146 to play. It's 11-10 in favor of Frontier. Haneski, right side pass to Hoffman, back to Haneski in the right wing. Working all the way in the left corner now to Hoffman. Donovan takes it back to the wing, back and out, being guarded by Ward. Tips a pass left corner to Carey, a high pass down low, Boudreaux, Collin working on Meadows, fadeaway shot is in and out no good. Rebound comes down to Greenfield. Swart, top of the key, goes behind the back, looking for some room. Jump pass on the right side to Ward. Maverick Ward, his pass though is picked off. Frontier on the break, Carey loses the handle, recaptures on the right side. Top of the key, Aneski on the left. Hoffman fakes the three. Minute to play, 19 on the shot clock, frontier by one. Colin Boudreaux, foul line left. They work at left corner to Hoffman. 
Hop and goes baseline. Reverse no. lane is no good. What Just rimmed down on him, no good. Oh. We feel oh. back quickly, but a bad pass about three or four feet behind Mason Meadows. Julius Brewington will check in for Greenfield. Meadows will set. Frontier 11, Greenfield 10. Sitting down Peter Carey for the last few seconds here of the first half. Wachowicz back in there. On the left side, Hineski. Wachowicz has it, dumps it down low to Colin Boudreau. And Boudreau was called for travel. Yeah, he shuffled his feet on the baseline. Boudreau, I think, still trying to Get, the, get his feet wet out there, get the feel for it, but having him out there is definitely helpful for, for Frontier, another front court threat. Brett Robinson is in the lineup right now for Frontier, gets it in the backcourt, and he's double teamed, he's in big trouble, and Wachowicz nearly came up with the steal in front of the Frontier bench, it goes out of bounds. Shot clock and game clock are about a second and a half apart. 22.4 on the game clock, 21 on the shot clock. Goes in this work, it's a screen from Brewington. Couldn't work the pick and roll though. Gibson, top of the key. Dishes it down low to Brewington. Wraparound pass, coming through. Kenny Adams, up fakes. Too strong off the window. Battle for the rebound, held ball. It'll be frontier ball, 5.1 seconds to play in the quarter. They gotta go the full length here. Robinson will inbound. And they're gonna run it up quickly. They're gonna get Hoffman in there. Good offensive uh, player. And they're going to pull Boudreaux off the floor. All right, 5.1 seconds in the corner. They get it in the Heneski. Runs it up, three seconds. On the right side, Robinson, 2-1. Throws it up at the buzzer, and no good. End of one here in South Deerfield. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is Frontier 11, Greenfield 10. Second quarter action next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webb's, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. All right, Greenfield will have the ball to begin the second quarter. Sack and bounding right in front of us, gets it into Gibson. Frontier leading by one. Very tight first quarter after Greenfield got off to that 6-0 start. These teams were pretty much neck and neck the rest of the quarter. Zach has it beyond the arc. Left side to Gibson. High post Meadows. Guarded by Carey. Meadows takes it right down him. Rejected though. But Meadows gets it back. Puts it up and in. After a block by Carey. He comes up with the perfect counter punch. Well that was a great block and a great comeback by Meadows. Not much, I mean Carey really, really got him. Had the ball pinned to the backboard. But Mason did not give up on it. He got the bucket and won. Meadows now will attempt to make it a three-point play. It's in the air, it is in and out no good, but battling for the rebound is Ward. And now he will back it out. Top of the key to Sack. Throws on the left to Gibson. Greenfield with a new shot clock. They now lead by one. Mason Meadows at the foul line. Gets his man up the air. Goes in, rejected again, but a foul on Carey. The Frontier crowd not happy, but they do whistle him for the blocking foul. I think that's two quick ones on him, if I'm not mistaken. Well, that's, no, that's his first. That's okay. his first, yeah. And the fifth team foul on Frontier in the half. Free throw is on the way. Back rim, no good. One more for Mason Meadows. Well, if Meadows, if they can keep going at the carry like that, getting in foul trouble, that eliminates a big threat. 
Second free throw is around the rim and in. Greenfield 13, Frontier 11. Early second quarter here in South Deerfield. Hineski throws on the right side. Three point bomb put up by Robinson, got it. Yeah, and he pumps his fist going up the floor. He knew he had it all the way. Frontier back up by one, 14-13. Meadows with a nice dish to Bruyton, goes up too strong with the left hand. Pineski back quickly for the Hawks. Runs into double coverage, gets it away to Richter. Richter and loses the handle, and it comes back to Frontier. Uh, back to Greenfield, rather. On the right side, it's Sack. It's at top of the key, Bruyton works his way through. Double clutch, another block by Carey. And it goes out of bounds off of Greenfield. Peter Carey, I mean, yeah, the rest of Hampshire League, they're gonna have to deal with this guy down low. Yeah, that was as clean a block as you're gonna see, and Burlington's even surprised he was able to get the strength to be able to do that, because Burlington's a much bigger kid. Frontier with the ball, they lead by one, 14-13. Six and a half to play here in the opening half. Robinson, who hit that big three a moment ago, has it in the left corner. He's gonna take another three, and that one's off the back rim, no good. Sack the rebound, runs it up on the right. Here comes Meadows, all the way through. Puts it up off the glass, no good. Weak side rebound taken down by Ward. New shot clock for the Wave, they trail by one. Sack, top of the key. Bounces it off his foot, runs it down on the right side. Nearly loses it out of bounds. Got it back though to Meadows. Mason Meadows, working on Robinson. Back to Sack, open look three. That is no good, Richter. Weak side rebound, Hineski runs it up on the right. Cross court on the left to Hoffman. Left corner, Robinson for three, no good. Meadows, skies for the rebound. Warning it up is Gibson. Now peels back, looking for help. Mason Meadows fakes the shot, comes all the way through. Before the shot, a foul called. That's gonna go against Peter Carey, and that is now his second person. Yeah, you got, got a hand on him as Mason was sweeping through. I'll tell you that Mason Meadows, for a big kid, he's incredibly athletic. Moves the ball very, very well, moves away from the ball very, very well. And that time he got caught Peter flat-footed and Peter got a hand on him. Adams, Zwart, and Carey are in for Greenfield and Wachowicz checks in for Peter Carey who now will sit with those two fouls. Not what I would say in foul trouble yet. They got it to Meadows but it got poked away. Hoffman leading the break. Donovan goes coast to coast, puts it up. No good but a blocking foul called against Greenfield. Well, Donovan Hoffman came to play tonight. He's already got five points and as you said, the heart and soul of this team. We talked to him a little bit before the game and uh, he gave us some intel on the AFL team, which they played recently, so they're a better team than their record indicates. Second personal foul against David Carey of Greenfield. First free throw by Hoffman is good. That gets Frontier a two point lead now at 15-13. And Angelo Thomas is going to get Gibson into the lineup. Are they gonna let him in? They shouldn't. Yeah. No, I guess they're going to. Now they will wave in Gibson. He'll sit, he'll come in for Carey who will sit with those two fouls. All right, one more for Donovan Hoffman. Shooting off to our left. And the free throw is on its way and it is good. And a quick sub, uh, timeout on the floor. We'll take the break, 5.34 to play here in the first half. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 16, Greenfield 13. This is Bear Country 95.3. And tonight's game brought to you by Kiris Oil, by Wisdom Way Self Storage, Charter NEX Films, and by CarQuest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne Falls. Um, the only difference right now in this game is I think Frontier shooting a little bit better than Greenfield right now, despite the fact that Brett Robinson missed his last two three-point attempts. B-Rob right now I think has the green light. If he has that elbow open, he's been told to shoot the basketball, and he missed a couple of threes, but. If he starts draining them, it's going to be very, very tough to contain that. And two carries with two personal fouls, one for each team. David Carey 
of Greenfield, Peter Carrier Frontier. All right, play back on now. Greenfield with the ball, now trailing by three. Henry Zwer, right side, it goes to Kenny Adams. Adams, foul line right, gets it into sack in the paint. Just rimmed out. Greenfield, ice cold right now. They're getting some good looks, but the ball not dropping for the wave right now. One and done for GHS. Richter for the foul line. His jumper is good. He loves that spot. Biggest lead of the night for Frontier, 18-13. Angelo Thomas yelling at the guys on the bench, actually saying, see, you gotta play defense out there. As Richter was wide open, no one came to contest that shot. Shot clock down to 15. Zwart, right side it goes to Adams. They try to get it down the middle, it's picked up by Richter. Sean in the backcourt gets it to Hoffman. Donovan runs it up. Greenfield's gonna get Julius Brewington back in the lineup, try to get some Rebounding done out there. Deep on the right side, Hoffman for three, good! Look out if he starts to heat up. And the lead now is eight, 21-13, and nearly thrown out of bounds right in front of us. Gibson had it poked away and stolen by Hoffman. Greenfield's in trouble right now, Jeff. And they back it away, they throw it back on the right side to Hoffman. Hoffman Bounce pass to Richter, back to Hoffman, three, pointer right side is good! Timeout Greenfield, 4.02 to play here in the first half. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 24, Greenfield 13. Back after this on Bear Country 95.3. Angelo Thomas, he had uh, no other choice but to call a timeout because it was getting rather ugly rather quickly. Well, the wheels are coming off the wagon in the second half. They played four, almost four minutes, and they've only scored three points, and Frontier started to really open up a can of you-know-what. Halfway through the quarter, Greenfield breaks the press, sack, left side Henry Zwart, gets it down to Brewington, goes all the way through, puts it up and in. It's a big bucket. They needed that. Well, well executed offensive play right there, taking advantage of Frontier's aggression on offense. Hernandez has it deep on the right side, throws up ahead to Hoffman. Hoffman takes it between the circles, Hernandez deep on the right. Shot clock at 15. Robinson, foul line right, spins away from containment. Richter, Robinson for three, top of the key, that's off the back rim, no good. And Frontier is one and done. Mason Meadows. Get it down low. Nice move by Bruyton and a reach in foul. That's going to be called on Walkowitz, I believe. Yep. Yep. And a couple of the free throws coming up for Julius Bruyton. Well, I like I like what Julius did there. He drew double coverage, went up strong, knew he was going to get hit, drew the foul. That's only the first time Walkowitz, but we're in the bonus now for Frontier. Two free throws for Brew off to our right. Yeah, first one is up and in. And that brings the deficit down to eight. Yeah, it's a very casual shooting style on that free throw. He just mm. sort of flung it up there. Colin Boudreau in for Wachowicz. One more for Brewington. Yeah, you're right. But good Make, results. Hit them both. them both. Nice 4-0 run now. 4-0 run for the Wave. And the deficit now down to seven at 24-17. Uh-oh. And double team was Hoffman. Got it to Colin Boudreau. Cross court pass on the right. Nice ball movement. And Richter, though, had it, lost it. Hoffman open for a three. Air ball too strong. Here comes Greenfield with a chance to cut in even a little more. And Richter went over the head of Meadows to poke it away. Nearly took his head right I'm off. I'm amazed he got to touch that ball without knocking him in the head. That was a pretty, pretty amazing play. Sack will inbound right in front of us. Gets the ball into Henry Zwart. Zwart, shuffle pass back to Sack. Now on the right side. They go to Brewington. It's all the way through. Block though by Richter. Frontier Great. has had five blocks tonight. Great defense there by Richter. And here comes the Hawks the other way. Hoffman open for three, gives it up. It's it back to Richter. Sean finds a seam. His runner is good. Love his game. Frontier by nine, 26 17. As we come down to the two minute mark here, the first half, our halftime report coming up. Nav Ward takes the three, goes right baseline, sealed off. Zwart will take a three. 
Front rim, no. Battle for the board. Who wants it? It's right there. Boynton and a held ball along with Haneski. The arrow will favor Frontier. Substitution for Greenfield. And checking in. Checking uh, in is uh, Brody Beard, his first minutes of the night. Sitting down will be Sack. Minute 59 to play here. Frontier with the ball, they lead by nine. They fell behind six nothing early on. They've had the better of it since then, especially here in the second. They only led by one at the end of one. On the right side, Robinson open, blocked though by Mason Meadows. Ends up in the hands of Boudreaux, goes up no. Well, the foul call didn't get it. Got it back to Hoffman. Shot clock down the 12. Richter's jumper, no good. Rebound to Meadows. Meadows will take it up on the right. Goes around Richter, stops there. Top of the key, Nav Ward, Brody Baird. Cross court pass is picked off momentarily, no, nope, recaptured. Shot clock though down to 15, Ward has it. They go to Brewington, goes up the left hand, trying to get something done against Boudreaux, who altered the shot, no good. Minute 10 to play here in the half. Frontier leading by nine. They have the basketball again. Maneski on the right. On the wing, picks up the dribble. Dumps it down on the right side. Boudreaux is going to go baseline. Gets it over. Hoffman, open three ball. Too strong. He's cooled off now after starting really strong here in the second. Coming back. Having it poked away was Henry Zward and Donovan Hoffman lays it up in and off the steal. What a play by Hoffman after missing that three. Comes back and picks the ball off. Hawks by 11 again, 28-17. Brewington on the right side. Cross court pass on the left. Meadows dumps it down to Ward. His little bunny is no good. Meadows the rebound, got it. Good job by Mason Meadows cleaning up the glass there. 28-19, Frontier by nine. Shot clock off, 20 seconds on the game clock. Up ahead, Robinson, down low, Colin Boudreau goes in against Meadows, shot is good. That was a tough angle too. It was a tough angle, but he made it work. 30 to 19, Frontier by 11. Griefy with the ball with seven seconds left in the half. Swart has it on the right side, comes in, jump pass left side, Brody Baird, and they never got a shot off. Wow. Halftime here. Good no gymnasium, South Deerfield, our score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. The Frontier Red Hawks 30, the Greenfield Green Wave 19. Stay tuned, our halftime report coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer driven networking for your business, software driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. And this is the Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report live from Goodnew Gymnasium in South Deerfield. Frontier 30, Greenfield 19 at intermission. Jeff and Chris courtside here, Dave Rito 
in our Greenfield studios. The Green Wave got off to a great start, keyed by the freshman Maverick Ward. They got up to a quick six to nothing lead. Frontier, though, had the better of it the rest of that first quarter, and they led by one at the end of one, 11-10, and then they really dug in a great run with Donovan Hoffman threes, especially, and they ended up uh, opening up a, a nice 11 point lead. And then it was uh, at 24-13. Teams traded baskets the rest of the way, six for each. And we're at halftime now, 30 to 19 in favor of the Red Hawks. Well, this was every bit what we thought it was going to be. And I think, for the most part, this game's been a wash. I think defensively, but these teams match up well. They both move the ball well. And the difference has been, Frontier's been a little bit better shooting than Greenfield has. That's the only thing I can see. I think that when Angelo called that timeout, you saw a different Greenfield team. They were getting a little bit lackadaisical in the middle part of the second quarter, and they came out, and I think if, if they can start making some shots, they can definitely cut this deficit. But I think that both teams know what's on the line here. They know it's an important early season game, and they both brought their A game tonight. Yeah, especially Donovan Hoffman. I mean, I, you know, we have a ways to go here, but uh, again, he's one of those guys who, when you look at him, he, he doesn't scream basketball player. Uh, necessarily, but let me tell you something. I, I've been so impressed with him for really his, his entire career, and they really lean on him quite heavily. When things aren't going well, he decided, okay, enough of this. Absolutely, and I think the loss of Owen Morse, too, to when he, Owen, Mo Owen Morse went to East Hampton, I think that has opened up an opportunity for Hoffman to really become a star on this team. It's not, not all just about Peter Carey. The thing that's great about this Frontier team is you got a lot of players on there like that that don't look like conventional basketball players, but they play the game well, they're solid, they're good defensively, and they have and they have no problem on the hustle part of this other game. And there's no slackers on this team. Same thing with Greenfield, and I think it's going to be a very interesting second half. If Greenfield can start making some shots, this could go right down to the wire. 30 to 19, Frontier by 11 here at halftime. We'll take a timeout here on the Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report. More halftime from Frontier Regional coming up next. This is Bear Country 95.3. Greenfield junior Katie Hazelton right on the brink of history, uh, needing 11 points heading in tonight's home game against Amherst for a thousand on a career as a junior. She's been a tremendous uh, player to watch, Chris, these last couple of years. And what I've always appreciated about her, even going back to her eighth grade years, just how composed and focused that she is. Yeah, and, and, and the thing is, you, you don't get to that point if you don't have not just a lot of ability, but a lot of basketball intelligence. And that's the thing about Katie Hazelton. You can tell when, with her game, she's just a very, very smart player. She knows where to pick her spots. She knows where, where to, sh to take her shots. And, and that's a great program that John Hickey is building up there, and she's been a big part of it. Yeah, and again, if she didn't get it tonight, and again, where they really want it to happen in front of the home crowd. So my, my best guess is that if it hasn't happened already, it will very shortly. We'll have the Greenfield girls actually on Monday night as they go to the Mess Hall, Messer Gymnasium in Northfield, to take on the Pioneer Panthers next Monday night. That'll be a 6.45 pregame show, 7 o'clock tip, live from Northfield. All right, we'll take one more time out here on the halftime report. We'll come back and get you set for the start of the second half with Frontier leading Greenfield, 30 to 19. Back after this on Bear Country. All right, we are ready for the start of the second half here. And Frontier will come out with their same five that they started the game with, I believe. Yeah, there's Hoffman, yeah. What's yeah, interesting is, yeah, except for Brett Robinson, is going to be out there. What's yeah. interesting is that Frontier extended that lead without Peter Carey on the floor. He was on the bench with foul trouble. Mm -hmm. And that's interesting to me because Greenfield had both of their big men out there and it didn't make a difference. It seemed. All right, David Carey throwing it in for Greenfield, gets it into Henry's work. Greenfield now shooting the basket on our left. We're underway here in the second half. The Wave has some work to do, and Mason Meadows lost it, but it comes right down to Sack, who banks it up and in. Jake Sack was where he needed to be at the right time there. Frontier by nine, 30 to 21. Ethan Michon on the right wing. David Carey guarding him. They go to Robinson. Donovan Hoffman dumps it down low to Walkowitz, looking for some help. Walkowitz, nice spin move on the paint, goes up strong with the right hand, no good. Rebound Maverick Ward. Maverick Ward gets it over to Zwart. Zwart coming through. That shot is rejected. Oh. But a 
foul is going to be called. <laughs> and did they get Walkowitz? <laughs> they got Walkowitz. They got Walkowitz. Wow, that looked, looked like pretty, a pretty clean block looked to Looked very clean, but they did give him the ticket. And that is two personals on Walkowitz. Two free throws now coming up for Zwart. First one is up, back rim no, he'll get one more here. And I thought, I was looking to see if they're gonna call it with the body, like a like a block, that the, that the block itself was clean, but the body, but it, it, they're saying it was on the arm. Second free throw was good. Free throw with a 3-0 run to begin the third quarter here. They're back to within eight now. Donovan Hoffman has been huge tonight. Top of the key, tricky dribbling. Goes over to Mashawn. Mashawn gets it back. He's still playing some tough D all the way through. Donovan Hoffman kind of flung it up there after he got fouled. He knew he got fouled. He nearly went, but he'll go to the line for two. Well, Donovan Hoffman making things happen again out there. It's going to be the first foul on Mason Meadows. First foul on Greenfield this half. Two free throws for Donovan Hoffman. First one is up, and that is no good. Hoffman will get one more here. Right-handed shooter. Let's it fly. That one is perfect. So Hoffman makes one of two. He's got 16 points in this game already. Frontier by nine, 31-22. Carry the backcourt. Henry Zwart up ahead to carry. They break it. Frontier was pressing. Top of the key, Zwart throws left side to Ward. Maverick Ward to Mason Meadows. Can't work the give and go. Mason comes all the way through. Puts it up and in over Wachowicz. Good move. Frontier 31, Greenfield 24. Six and a half to play here third. 5-1 run going here for Greenfield. Hoffman on the right. Deep. Guarded by Zwart. Right corner to Walkowitz. Back to Hoffman, shot clock at 12. Donovan Hoffman, wraparound pass. Looking for Carey, goes off of Peter Carey's arm. Nice tough D interior by Meadows. Yeah, Meadows has done a good job on that end of the floor. And Greenfield now potentially can get just a little bit closer. Substitution for Frontier. Checking in Gabe's Joan Thompson. Walkowitz will check out. David Carey has it. Whips the ball over to Zwart. Back to Carey. The Greenfield again able to break the press. Maverick Ward. And they try to get down low to Sack, who falls to the floor, could not come up with it. Back come the Hawks. Hoffman. Now it's passed in the right quarter to Peter Carey. Peter picks it up. Try to get it to Gabe Jones Thompson off of Greenfield. It'll stay with Frontier with 19 to shoot. Frontier got a break there. That was not a great pass. Gibson in for Carey for Greenfield. So Frontier with 19 to shoot. It's the inbound the ball. Mashawn looking, looking, looking. Gets it into Peter Carey. Takes it right in on Meadows. Up fakes, goes up strong. Gets the roll. That's what we need from Peter Carey. His first points of the game, by the way. 33-24, Frontier by nine. A long pass up to Maverick Ward. He's double teamed. He's in big trouble. Tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Greenfield. They had him trapped right near the scores table. Good swarming defense by Robinson and Jones Thompson there. Gibson takes the shot, comes through. Lefty lane is good off the window. Great move by Gibson. Frontier 33, Greenfield 26. Frontier led by 11 at halftime. They dump it down low to Carey again. Frees himself for a shot, but a good job. The offensive rebound by Jones Thompson. But it was an air ball, so no new shot clock. Shot clock now is down to 12. Mashawn, a foul called on Ward, who smacks his hands in frustration. He got the ticket. That's a tough break. I mean, Mav got screened, and he got a hand in there. He almost got the ball, but he got body, and that can't do that. Maverick Ward, the son of former GHS star from the late 80s, Cameron Ward. On the left side, jumper, that missed badly. No good by Robinson, uh, to Jones Thompson got the rebound, he got fouled, was that? That was Ward again, two quick ones on him. Robinson was gonna argue that he got fouled on the three, but he missed badly, so that's two fouls, by the way, quick ones on Mav Ward. Jones Thompson shooting two off to our right. First one is up, and that is no good. 
So the lead remains seven for Frontier, one more for Gabe Jones-Thompson. It's up, and that one is no good, and we had a lane violation. It's going to go against Greenfield. Interesting. So one more free throw for Jones-Thompson. Missed the first two. It should be a Greenfield ball, but one of the one of the Green Wave men on the lane jumped in a little bit too soon, according to Jerry Burgess, the official down there. And it's up, and that one is good. So they gained a point right there, 34-26 Frontier. Just inside of five minutes to play here in the third quarter. Four takes it across. Has it deep on the left elbow. Picks up the dribble, gets it over to Gibson on the right. Gibson to the line, to the lane. Throws up a runner, no, but a foul on Peter Carey. Oh. That is three on the big guy. He came over to help and uh, it was a fairly obvious call. I mean, he didn't hammer him or anything, but he did run right into him. Two free throws now for Gibson. They haven't posted it yet. They have 13 fouls up there for, for Frontier. Yeah, they meant, they meant to put the player foul as 13. Yeah, pretty <laughs> sure that's not accurate. Gibson hits the first. It's two team fouls. And again, we have three fouls personally on Carey. He's going to have to come out now for a while. And Colin Boudreau is in. Well, not, not a huge drop off, Chris, there. No, and there's a benefit. That that's Boudreau coming back gives them an extra big man to be able to sub in if Carey gets in foul trouble. They didn't have that before. Second free throw is good, 34-27. Frontier lead, 34-28 uh, I should say, made them both. Frontier's lead now down to six. They led by 11 at halftime. A spin move by Mashawn goes up strong, high off the glass and in over Meadows. What a move by Mashawn, oh my God. That was phenomenal. Mason Meadows had it in the crosshairs. He was ready to just whack that out of there and it went right over his outstretched arm and into the, into the cylinder. 36-28, Frontier by eight. Gibson, nice crossover dribble, stops top of the key. Cross-court pass on the right, Henry Zwart. Zwart in a high post to Meadows, guarded by Paul and Pedro's triple team. Someone's gotta be open. He takes it in himself, the leaner, in and out, no good. Tipped out of bounds off Greenfield. The Greenway bench say no, that was off of Frontier, but they're not gonna get the call. No, they aren't. All right, we're halfway through the third quarter. Greenfield sticking around. They trail by eight. They have outscored Frontier by three here in the third. Colin Boudreau, nice dish down low. Jones Thompson, yes and one. Foul is going to be called against Greenfield's Kenny Adams. Quality minutes from Gabe Jones Thompson there. He broke away under the basket, got a nice little give pass from Boudreau and made it count. And now with a made free throw here they'll match their biggest lead of the night of 11 points greenfield worked hard to get it down to six here in the third but now 5-0 run by the hawks and they lead 39 28 we are halfway through the third quarter here in south deerfield zwart gets it up to ward on the right back to henry zwart Looking the pass, gets it down low to Brewington, all the way through, stripped of the ball on the way up, reach and foul is gonna be called on Ethan Mashon as he just tried to poke it away, and they did get Ethan. See, I think you're getting, they brought Brew in because they, they saw, I think Angela saw that breakdown in the paint, and Brewington's not gonna allow that. He's, you, Brewington and, and uh, Mason are gonna go hard at the basket now, you watch. Mashawn out, Haneski in, so Jake will replace Ethan in the Frontier lineup. First free throw by Burton was good. Second one good as well. He is, uh, I think, four for four from the yep. line. Substitution, Burrington out, sack back in. Greenfield back to within nine now. 39-30, and they, yeah, that's a turnover as the Frontier player went to step in and make the pass. Again, that's a little bit of rust there. That's Boudreau. Yeah, yeah. he stepped into the uh, onto the court before the pass left his hands. The inbound it to Gibson. Gets it back out to Meadows at the free throw line. He sealed off there. Loops the pass to Gibson in the left corner. Gibson going baseline. Sealed off there. Top of the key. It's Meadows. 
Down low to Ward. Mav Ward takes it into the left corner. Bounce pass down low to Gibson. Banks it in. Nice dish by Ward and nice finish by Gibson. And Gibson's got six points in this half. He's been all over the place. 39-32. Frontier by seven. A back four, uh, backcourt foul is going to be called against Gibson with the body because he was kind of checking the Frontier player there. Yeah, definitely got a, got a hand check on, on Haneski moving up the floor. That is five team fouls now. That's the first on Gibson. Frontier with the ball, they lead by seven. They went on a 6-0 run to get it to 11. Now a 4-0 run by Greenfield has it down to seven. Greenfield digging in on D. Who drew all by himself, goes lefty, reverse lane blocked though by Meadows. What a great comeback defensively. Sack up ahead to Ward all the way through. Banks it up and in. Yeah, that's a transition basket that shouldn't have happened. And the lead for Frontier now down to five. Big run, by the way, but it's been a game of runs. Donovan Hoffman, nice shuffle pass to Boudreaux, banks at home. That's all you gotta do. Frontier by seven, 41-34. Ward on the left, gets it to Gibson. Passes back to Mav Ward. In a high post, Mason Meadows, nice ball movement. Greenfield's work fakes the three. Zach has it, back to his ward. Tipped away, loose ball, picked up by Zwart. Henry finds a seam, his runner is no good. And the rebound tipped out oh, of bounds well, off of sack. That should be out, that should be off front here, that's a bad call. Yeah. And they're looking for the other official, Glenn Mallett, to help out Angelo Thomas and the Greenfield bench, furious. They're not gonna get that call. He's really giving it right now to Jerry Burgess. Hineski gets a screen as he takes it across the timeline. Front two with the ball, they lead by seven. And now, nice tough D by Zwart, and the ball goes out of bounds. It's gonna go back to Greenfield, so it ends up it ends up working out, ultimately. That's what you gotta do on these Frontier guards. You really have to step up and pressure them. Two minutes to play here, third quarter. Greenfield trailing by seven. They have the basketball. Mason Meadows gets his man in the air, goes up strong, and gets the bounce. Great little sky hook by Mason. 41-36. Greenfield trailing by five. They led by six early, six nothing, in fact. Frontier led by one at the end of one. They led by 11 at halftime. Greenfield's been scrambling to get back in ever since. Vineski, double team, bounce pass right side to Hoffman. Shot clock at 15, they get it, left side. Jones Thompson, working on sack. Fade away, Jay is short. Meadows the rebound, Greenfield looks to run. Zwart runs it up, stops, right side it goes to Ward. Mav takes it in, rejected, but a foul. Uh, Richter, offensive foul I think, was it? Yeah, and I think that's on Ward. That, if that's him, uh, that's, three. that's three on Mav. And we have a timeout on the floor. We'll step aside for the break. A minute 21 to play here in the third quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 41, Greenfield 36. We're back after this on Bear Country 95.3. Right now, Greenfield out shooting Frontier 17-11 in this quarter. And they've cut this lead back to five, so this game <laughs> far from over. That was the third personal foul on Maverick Ward, and he has been replaced by Julius Brewington in the Greenfield lineup. All right, a minute 15 to play here in the third. Vineski has it for Frontier, bounce pass right quarter to Robinson. Brett. It's the top of the key to Hoffman, who's been quiet lately. It was awesome in that second quarter. Richter passes left side. Jones Thompson gets his man in the air and hits from the left side. Nice play. Well, Jones Thompson's come alive here. The lead now back to seven for the Hawks. Meadows on the right. Pass is stolen by Richter and a foul on Mason Meadows. It wasn't a lot of contact, but he did bump him. It was and, enough. And he got called for the ticket. By Glenn Mallet, and he hears the you can't do that chant. It should be a one and one for Richter. It is, seventh team foul on Greenfield and the second personal foul on Mason Meadows. 
Richter shooting off to our right, one and one. Frontier by seven. And Frontier by seven, it shall remain as he misses. Greenfield clears the board with Meadows. Swart runs it up. Into the front court, passes right side, Gibson with a oh. rainbow three. That shot is off the back rim, no good, tipped around. Comes down to Brewington, shuffle pass down low to Meadows, goes up strong, no, got his own rebound. Yes, count it, and one. And who'd they get? They got Haneski. Well, and Mason Meadows, we've seen him take over basketball games before, and he may very well be what Greenfield needs right now. Free throw though is no good. Brewington, the rebound put back, no good. He falls hard to the floor, just kind of flung it up there, hoping that his prayer would be answered. Shot clock and game clock pretty much in unison right now. Richter for three, left side, in and out, no good. Brewington the rebound, shot clock is off, sack. Falls down with the basketball, finally got it away, nearly traveled. Left side it goes to Meadows, swoops all the way through. Hit it off the side of the backboard, looked for a foul call, didn't get it. Six seconds left in the quarter. Over to Hoffman, left side. Three-pointer at the buzzer is no good by Richter. End of three here. Good no gymnasium in South Deerfield. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 43, Greenfield 38, fourth quarter action next on Dirt Country 95.3. So Greenfield scored 19 points in the first half. They scored 19 points in that third quarter alone. And they've got it down to a five point frontier advantage. Red Hawks with the ball as they begin the fourth quarter. Hawks lead 43 to 38. And the pass is tipped away by Meadows. Right back, however, to Jones Thompson, who's really given Ben Barshevsky a big effort off the bench here. And he's going to stay out there right now. Donovan Hoffman, right side, little curl off the glass. No good, tipped around. Comes down to Greenfield. Two on two break. Zwart over to Gibson. Rejected though by Carey. He's back out there. Knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the wave. And that gets the sixth man up. The entire frontier bench jumped up in unison on that too. That's four blocks. They've had seven blocks as a team. Four alone for Peter Carey. Shot clock at 20. On the right side, Gibson comes in, throws up a high shot again with carry around. That shot was altered. No good. They throw it up ahead to Hoffman. On the right side to Richter. Sean Richter, foul line right. His open jumper is no good. Meadows the rebound. Frontier's cold right now shooting. Yep, that extends back to the third quarter. Gibson to the line, to the lane, goes up strong, and that shot is no good. Again, Carey is altering shots. It's you know, as Bill Russell used to like to say, it's not so much coming up with the blocks, it's making the guy think you're going to block him. Exactly. And Greenfield's throwing up some shots really, really high in an effort to get it over the outstretched arm of Peter Carey. On the right side, they dump it down low to Peter. Little hook pass back to Jones Thompson, who hits again. Gabe Jones Thompson, eight points in this half. Eight big ones. 45-38, Frontier by seven. Gibson, gets it to Zwart, back to Gibson on the right side. Top of the key, Zwart on the left. Meadows from the foul line. Hits it to four, nice spin move on Carey. Gets it back, Ward's gonna take a three, got it! Great move. And a quick timeout called by Greenfield. We will step aside, 6-12 to play in regulation and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard it's now Frontier 45, Greenfield 41, Bear Country 95.3. Well, just like we said, the difference in the first half was shooting. Frontier was a little hotter than Greenfield. Right now, Greenfield a little hotter than Frontier. That's why this is a four-point lead. 
And this gym, it's not only is it not an overflow crowd, it's not quite capacity, but it's close. This uh, big crowd, people definitely were ready for this game, and they're, they have turned out, and they have been loud. Donovan Hoffman. And a turnover, a five-second yeah. call. He had nowhere to go, and nobody was moving. Yeah, Greenfield has really, really put the screws on defensively. No, no doubt about that. That's what you got to do. And play resumed now. Greenfield with the ball with a chance to get even closer, but the pass goes right through the hands and off the arm of Sack. So Jake unable to corral that. But here now with the ball again. Hineski takes it across. On the left wing. Passes over to Hoffman. Hoffman had it poked away though by Henry Zwart. Yeah, Zwart's causing all kinds of problems right now for Hoffman. Meadows will take it across himself. Spin move. Little scoop shot around Peter Curry. No good. Got his own rebound. No good. Battle for the ball. Ward couldn't come up with it. Comes down to Frontier. That was an excellent opportunity at a deuce for Greenfield. Peter Whoa. Curry tried one of those around the head passes. It worked the last time down the court. That time was thrown right out of bounds. I'm not sure he was who that was going to. Maybe Jones Thompson. He was the closest one to it, but not that close. Frontier's lead remains four. On the right side, it's going to go to Wart with a rainbow three. That's a little bit short. Loose ball being battled for. It comes down to Herneski. Hawks look to run. Runs it up on the left side, gets to Peter Carey. Carey, hook pass, left side. Hoffman, 4-3. Get it out, no good. So he has cooled off a lot in this basketball game. Coming all the way through. Top of the key. Sack's going to take a three. That shot is no good. Meadows had the rebound momentarily, and then it got tipped away. On the left side, Peter Curry's going to take a deep jumper. That is no good. Yeah. Somebody make a shot here. Exactly. <laughs> hung here for a while. 45-41 remains our score. 4-32 to play in regulation. Bounce pass on the right side to Ward. Back on the right wing. We'll get it down low. Meadows gets it right back to Ward. Stripped on the way up out of bounds. It'll stay with Greenfield. 11 seconds to shoot. Who will throw in? Who's going to throw in? It's going to be Sack. This could make it a one possession game. The Greenfield can score right into Meadows. No good. It was partially blocked by Curry. They're going to set him up. And he wanted to go in for the dunk. It's tipped out of bounds off of Gibson. Nice play there by Gibson to not allow that. I could see what was about to happen. Into the lineup is Mashawn for Frontier into the lineup for Greenfield. Replacing Mason Meadows is Brewington. All right, Mashawn will inbound on the baseline right. Gets the ball into Hoffman on the right wing. Between the circles, Richter. Richter, double team, top of the keys, in a little bit of trouble. Loose ball on the floor, picked up by Frontier. Jones Thompson comes all the way through, no good. Richter gets the rebound. Jump pass back top of the key. Shot clock is down to 10. Left side, Hoffman, all the way through. Blocking foul called Ooh. against Sack. Sack said, I just go, I just go run over. Oh, Sack is really upset. Be careful. And, yeah, you don't want to get it. Now he's backing up with his hands in the air, like saying, all right, I'm not going to say anything. But he was really upset with that foul call. He's still talking to Glenn now. You've got to be real careful here. In fact, I think Glenn Mallett just said that's enough. I think he's got a case, unfortunately. I, I hate to see a kid argue with a ref, but that looked like, that looked like an offensive foul to me. First free throw by Hoffman is good. Yeah, Glenn does not want to call the tee, but he's he made it very clear that he's had enough of the argument. Second free throw is no good. Frontier by five. 46-41, 3.50 to play here in the basketball game. Gibson's going to launch a three. Back rim, no good. He did not hesitate. Jones Thompson gets the rebound. And now Gibson with a steal. Gibson takes it down, looking for a teammate coming through. It's Ward. The lane is no good. Had a clear lane and a foul called on Greenfield going the other way. He got high above the rim. Body was slightly out of control, could not quite finish. It's going to be on Gibson, which is good news for Greenfield because I thought they were going to get Ward for that. Would have been his fourth. 
So shooting one and one on the other end. They're going to get Meadows back out there for Greenfield. This has been a, a weird fourth quarter, Chris. Uh, after Greenfield, uh, you know, put up all those points to get 19 points in that third quarter. They've only scored three here in the fourth. And Frontier's not shooting the lights out either. Front end of the one and one for Mashan. It bounces around, no good. Jones Thompson, the putback, no, but a foul. How big is Gabe Jones Thompson been in this game? Off the bench, a guy who doesn't get a lot of playing time, but has been absolutely clutch. And, and that is four fouls on yep, Mav Ward. That was on the freshman, Mav Ward. He has four. And to the line now, and shooting two, so now they're in the double bonus. And the first free throw is no good. And he will get one more. And before that, we will have a timeout. We'll take the break as well. 3.28 to play in regulation. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 46, Greenfield 41. Back after this on Bear Country 95.3. for a live billboard. Tonight's game brought to you by Neil A. Zelensky Electrician, Nardowich Tree Service, and by the Greenfield Public Schools and the Sunderland Animal Hospital. Well, I'm looking at a picture on Facebook of former Greenfield basketball star Ann Brazette, herself a 1,000 point scorer. Her name is on the banner at Nichols Gym. She's wearing Katie Hazelton's away jersey. But I haven't seen yet if she hit a thousand points. Because she only needed eleven tonight. That's she was the first one to to, hit to do it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, first girl. Yep. Yeah. And the free throw is no good. Battle for the rebound comes to sack. All right, Frontier leads by five. And we're down to 320 to play in the basketball game. Gibson throws on the left side to get in the corner to Ward out there with four fouls. And they try to get it to Mason Meadows. It was off the mark, though, out of bounds. Off Mason's hand, it goes back to Frontier. This has been a pretty sloppy second half on both sides of the ball. Not a lot of great shooting. All right, Ward and now will come off. It's going to be uh, defense for offense here. David Carey has replaced Ward. So when Angelo Tai, he's going to keep he's going to keep Mav Ward right with him on the bench. And next opportunity to get him out there offensively, he will. Robinson gets it over to Donovan Hoffman on the left side. Donovan. Going baseline, puts up the shot, got it. He just muscled, that was all effort. 48-41, Frontier by seven. Ward has it deep on the right side. Double team there, bounce pass to Sack. They're gonna jump out on him. Sack passes back to Ward. Shot clock at 15. Frontier by seven, 235 to play in the game. David Carey, left side pass to Gibson. Gibson goes up, throws up a wild alley-oop shot. It's no good, seven to shoot. Rebound put up, no good, a foul. Zwartz going to go the line for two as he was fouled by Gabe Jones-Thompson. Yeah, that's the first on Gabe, 15 foul. And so. two, uh, two big free throws here. For Henry Zwart, first one is up, it is no good. Ward now in, Carey will check out. Again, this is the offense for defense. Second of two is up. That one is in and out, no good. So a wasted trip, but Greenfield does get the rebound. Sack puts it up, no good. Carry the rebound. A big squander there by Greenfield. They trail by seven as we come down to the two minute mark. Hoffman on the right wing. Gets it to Mashon near the center court circle. Guarded by Gibson, right side pass. Robinson, they jump out on him. He's an excellent perimeter shooter. Carey, fade away Jay from the right side is good. It's a big bucket there for Peter Carey. The lead up to nine for the Hawks, 50 to 31. Ward on the left side, bounce pass down low. Coming through is Meadows. Try to wrap around pass, it's off of the leg of Hoffman. Oh. Mashon 
And a foul is going to get called against Sack as he sent Mashan to the floor. And we're going to be shooting two on the other end. And Frontier, it's looking good. I mean, we've got a ways to go, but leading by nine. And shooting two free throws now will be Ethan Mashan on the other end of the court. It's going to be tough if, they can, if he can make both of these to come back from 11 down with two minutes left the way they've been shooting. Yep. They failed uh, again. 19 points in the third. They have scored three here in the fourth. Barshevsky has taken off the jacket and the tie. <laughs> it's a funny feeling if they win this game, this shirt may come off. First of two is up, no good for Ethan Michon. He'll get one more. Nobody covering themselves with glory from the line in the second half on either side of the ball. One more for Michon. They're just going to pull everybody off the lane. Second free throw, that is good. So Frontier's lead is 10. So it's a four possession game. That last free throw was actually pretty big. Rayfield with the ball. They pass over to Gibson. Gibson fakes the pass, comes in. His pull-up jumper on the right side is bouncing around. Oh, it just bounced around two or three times and then dropped off. Now a steal, though, by Gibson. Pulls it back over to Meadows. All the way through, and then he oh. got tied up down low, tried to get it back to Gibson and threw it away. Oh. Timeout, Greenfield. We'll step aside for another 30-second break. 1.25 to play this one. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's Frontier 51, Greenfield 41. Back after this. And yes, congratulations to Greenfield Junior Katie Hazelton as she has done it. 1,000 points in her high school career. Many thanks to Scott Cody for getting us that information. And uh, thanks to Katie's dad for actually, you know, we, we, we got it kind of in a circuitous way. We got it, that's all but that matters. We got it, we figured it would happen and it's great that it happened in what? front of the home crowd. All right, Frontier with the ball. They nearly threw it away on the inbounds play, but they lead by 10 now. Work it around, take some time off this clock. And with a bucket here, they'll have their biggest lead of the night, but instead it's stolen by Greenfield. So a little glimmer of hope here for the Wave. Carey has it on the left side, takes it in, puts up a scoop shot. No, a foul called, and that is going to go against Peter Carey with the shove. Well, Peter Carey, since coming back into this game, has really been a game changer on the glass. He's made some incredible blocks and, a, and some great rebounds, timely rebounds for Frontier. First free throw is up and no good. Neither coach can be happy, Jeff, though, with the mental mistakes in the second half. Jones Thompson comes off to a nice applause. He's had a great game. He really has. He's definitely running for the Hell on a chemical player of the game. Second free throw, no good. Tipped out of bounds. It's off of Greenfield. And Angelo Thomas, again, really not happy. He might have a he might have a case. So Frontier now leading by 10. They are in good shape to get win number six and hand Greenfield their first loss of the season. Alley you pass down low to Richter. Back to Robinson. The dagger three is no good. In fact, it ended up on top of the backboard. So Greenfield will get the ball back, but again, trailing by 10, only 57.5 seconds left. So not only do they need to score, they need to score quick here. They can't waste too much time. Right corner, Ward will take a three. Back rim, no. Rebound comes to Meadows. Mason all the way through, kind of flung it up there, no good. Mashon the rebound, Frontier's gonna get it. Greenfield will fall back on defense. And they warm up the bus. Champ begins here at Goodno Gymnasium. Carey fouls Mashan. Mashan will go to the line with two. 33.3 seconds left. So Frontier will go to six and one. Greenfield will fall to five and one. And round one will go to the Red Hawks here tonight. They'll play again later this year at Goodno Gymnasium. First of two by Mashan is up and is good. 52-41, so this matches Frontier's biggest lead of the night. Greenfield, 
Their biggest lead was six at six to nothing. That was right off the jump. And Frontier was able to come back, mostly with Donovan Hoffman. Second free throw is no good. Zor takes it across. It's a pass right side. Gibson quick release three. No good. Carey tried to get the rebound. Comes down to Richter. And he got run into. Uh, Donovan Hoffman run into by Gibson. Frontier could have just dribbled it out. But instead, Hoffman now will shoot two on the other end of the court. Well, I'll tell you, this is a tough call for player of the game between Hoffman and Jones Thompson. Now, there's arguments to be made for both. I agree. Hoffman was the one who really got them going when they fell behind six to nothing. But later on, when Greenfield was kind of hanging around there for a while, it was really Jones Thompson who was doing a lot as well. First free throw was no good, second one was good. 53 to 41 with 19 seconds left. Swart will take it all the way through. Pass is tipped out of bounds over towards us. 14 seconds left, Greenfield will maintain possession. And down the ball. Swart gets it to Gibson. Gibson turns, nope. fires up an air ball, three. Out of bounds with five seconds left. That's almost apropos the way the shooting has gone in the second half of this fourth quarter. I mean, yeah, three Greenfield points. Shot the lights out in the third. And fourth quarter couldn't do anything. And ultimately, it will cost them the game. Frontier dribbles it out. It's over. Final score here in South Deerfield on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard: the Frontier Red Hawks 53, the Greenfield Green Wave 41. Stay tuned, the post-game show and the Helena Chemical Player of the Game next, Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business, software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure, extremenetworks.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. And welcome to the post-game show here on Bear Country 95.3. Frontier wins it over Greenfield by 12, 53-41. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins, Dave Reno is, of course, our studio producer. So the Frontier Red Hawks hand Greenfield their first loss of the season as they were able to come back from an early 6-0 deficit, get a lead that they never relinquished. They really deed up in that fourth quarter in Greenfield. They couldn't make anything. Chris, three points scored in that fourth quarter after 19 in the third. Yeah, it was odd. It was a streaky night for Greenfield. I think, uh, I think it was not just the shooting. I think that really what helped Frontier was their bench depth. I think the guys coming off the bench, guys like um, Sean Richter, uh, and especially Gabe Jones Thompson. I mean, they gave a lot of quality minutes. And, you know, when you've got a second team that can come off the bench and do that kind of hard work, I mean, there was no style points here. It was all guts. It was all grit. It was all hustle. And uh, it was a solid performance. And, you, and your starters played well, too. Uh, Greenfield didn't play badly. They just were inconsistent in terms of shooting, especially in the second and fourth quarters. And that was the difference. 53-41. to 41, Frontier goes to 6-1 on the year. Greenfield falls to 5-1 on the 2019-2020 season. Chris, we'll have you run the numbers, and then we will reveal the Helena Chemical player of the game. All right, for Greenfield, leading scorer for the Wave was Mason Meadows with 13 points, solid performance. Julius Burrington had 6. Mav Ward had 7. 6 for Sam Gibson all in the second half. 5 for Henry Zwart. 2 each for David Carey and Jake Sack for the Frontier Red Hawks. Leading all scorers in the game, Donovan Hoffman with 20 points, eight for Gabe Jones Thompson off the bench, all in the second half. Seven for Ethan Michon, seven for Sean Richter, four for Peter Carey, and three 
for Brett Robinson, who had a tough time from the three-point line. I think he was one for five, but he'll pull that trigger when he thinks he feels comfortable. And ironically enough, you know, Greenfield wins this game by 12. Peter Carey only four points, but uh, what, four blocks at least, yeah, and a bunch of key rebounds in the fourth quarter. So, you know, Donovan Hoffman was this, was the start of night scoring wise but everybody pitched in that came off the bench and that started yep and not just the blocks uh for peter curry but also just all the altered shots when he was camped down low and, and i get it it's, it's you know you don't want that ball getting batted right back in your face which happened more often than not here tonight so frontier again wins it by a final score of 53 to 41 hell of a chemical player of the game really chris we were kind of debating between two guys gabe jones thompson off the bench gave Ben, Bar uh, ben Barshevsky, uh, really a great, great performance tonight. Easily could have won Helen a chemical player of the game, but uh, this was almost a coin flip. We ended up going with Donovan Hoffman. Yeah, I almost feel bad because I don't know when Gabe's going to have a chance to be in the running for one of these shirts again. Uh, he's, a, he's a role player. He doesn't get a lot of minutes, but tonight he came in and played lights out in that second half especially. But Hoffman, I mean, he had 20 points, 15 in the first half. When the game was really sort of in, in question, he scored a, a lot of key baskets and definitely, like you said, I mean, he, he gave his team a spark. He gave him a lift. He is very much the heart and soul of his team. And uh, for tonight's performance, he wins the t-shirt. All right, congratulations to Donovan Hoffman of Frontier Regional, our player of the game from Helena Chemical. Final score for the final time here tonight, Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier 53, Greenfield 41. For Chris Collins and for Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Have a great weekend in Bear Country, everyone.